What is up guys? It's been a minute since I posted on here, but Beta FPV reached out with two new Tiny Whoops and I figured these would be a great way to just break away from all the non-stop drone tours I've been filming and just get back into some Tiny Whoop freestyle flying. Beta FPV has always made some solid Tiny Whoops in my opinion, so I am pretty excited to try these two out. Here we've got their two new ultra lightweight Air 65 Tiny Whoops. We've got a version for freestyle and a version for racing. Both of these come in weighing only 17 grams. They have all the same components except for the motors and the props. On the freestyle version that I have here, we have 702 23,000 kV motors with HQ 31 millimeter tri-blade props. Then on the racing version, we have 702 27,000 kV motors with Gemfan tri-blade 1219S props. Other than the motors and props, we have all the exact same internal components. The all new flight controller is a four in one that features a 400 milliwatt VTX and it weighs only 2.9 grams. It doesn't have ELRS built in, so we do have one of their flat antenna ELRS receivers right on top here. Now I don't have one of these boards to show you guys, but if you go on Beta FPV's site, they are gonna be coming out with a five in one version of this board that has the ELRS receiver built right in. And then on top we have the CO3 camera and a flexible canopy cover that holds the camera and the antenna. So Beta FPV sent me a bunch of 1S LiPos. We've got the 300 milliamp 1S Lava LiPo. Then we also have a 260. So the 260 is a little bit smaller. I'm gonna test out both of these batteries on both of these drones and we'll see what kind of flight time we get out of each one.
All right, these things fly pretty nice. The tune feels really nice on both of them. And honestly, even though one is labeled freestyle, you could race the freestyle one and you could freestyle the racing one. I did notice a slight difference in the flight characteristics. If you're more of a freestyle flyer, definitely go with the freestyle one. If you're more of a racer, go with the racing one. I tend to fly more freestyle and I ended up preferring the freestyle version with the 260 milliamp batteries. With that setup, I got about three minutes of flight time and with the 300 milliamp batteries, I got about three and a half minutes of flight. With the 260 milliamp on the racing version, I got a little less than three minutes of flight and with the 300 milliamp, I got about three minutes of flight. On all my tests, I was pushing the drones pretty hard so the flight times that you see might be a little bit more than that. All in all though, nice little tiny whoops from Beta FPV. I've always been a big fan of the whoops that they come out with. I think that if you're more into tiny whoop races, go for the racing version. If you're like me and you tend to fly a little bit more freestyle, go with the freestyle version. If this video helped you out or if you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more FPV content. Leave this video a like and if you have any questions about Beta FPV's new Air 65 tiny whoops, leave a comment down below. Be side of a beat, gotta be side of beat.